Thank you. Great to have you with us on the cafe. Now we are delving into the lawless outpost of 1800s Russell Kororarika. The Ballad of Maggie Flynn introduces a heroine created from the rich and vibrant true stories of New Zealand women. They're here to tell us more about this exciting new show. Please welcome to the cafe Alison Bruce and also Miriam McDowell. Good morning. Yay. Good morning. Absolute pleasure to have you here. So you play multiple. Tell us a little bit about the story first, Miriam. Okay. Um, I I think of it like a Forrest Gump story. Um, we take one character and we place her in different moments in our early colonial history. So we go from a whaling ship where a woman takes over a ship and leads a ship full of men. Um, and then we go to a par site in Kororarika, Russell. And then we go to the first brothel in New Zealand. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, Alison, um, I heard that there's five women in total mm -hmm. in this play, but there's probably 20 different characters. Mm. So do you all share different characters? Yeah, we all, everybody plays at least two. Um, I think I play five. Yeah, I've got and, five. And we play men and women. And, um, there's a few clowns in there. <laughs> clowns in there. Yeah, there's a little bit of a yeah. cut with you looking very clown-like. Yeah. Uh, so, so which would be your favourite character that you played in? Well, I love playing Maggie, because I get to play Maggie, older Maggie, and um, Victoria plays the younger Maggie. I love playing her because she's really gutsy and she's great, but I love playing... Riley, who's this mad Irish man who's like a pirate, talks like this. Oh, great. <laughs> and um, Big Beard. And I also really love Paco, who's my little Maori boy, who is just like, he's like really fat and he likes to eat all, all the time. And, um, oh, he's my favourite. He's lovely. He's I just a really, really cool little character. He's, so, like, he's like the Maori Winnie the Pooh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I love it. Yeah. Um, so why didn't you get men in this play? Why not? Um, there was a certain point in the development of the work where we felt like the whole story is about um, the history of women, women from our history um, whose stories have never been recorded. And we went, why don't we tell the story just with women? Brilliant. Because initially when Paolo Rotunda was writing it, he wrote it for both men and women. It wasn't yeah. just a purely a female-only show he was thinking of, was That's it? That's right. It was always a play that was um, for actors to play many different roles right um, and probably to gender cross as well there were there was always a sort of element <laughs> of women playing hearty um, sailors and whalers um, but to sort of really take that play and go actually we just want to do it all women is a big move for you. And I would, uh, you know, from what I've seen on the little clips so far, it looks exceptionally physical. Alison, you know, is, is it one of those plays where you come off at the end of it and you just shattered? Absolutely. I think it will be <laughs> when we get through the whole show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it will be. Yeah, it will be. But you know, it's um, r amazing how quickly you get that particular fitness. It is just for that. Yeah. So those moments that initially feel like, oh my God, I'm never going to be able yeah. to make it up there. And then in a week's time, you're like, oh, I've got a bit of time to kill. I'll have mm. a cup of tea. Yeah. Yeah. Go and do a few push ups on the way. So it's quite physical. Yeah, we're all covered in bruises. And yeah. And it's yeah. based on the true people, isn't it? Like, it's based on true people from our history. Uh, yeah. Um, inspired, by? Inspired, by. Uh, inspired by. Inspired yeah. by, yeah. yeah. Yeah, like Cavalier. Re some of them, right? There's a, um, one of the stories, so the past site, so the middle part of the story um, is about a Pākehā woman who is taken into a Māori tribe as a mōkai or a pet or a slave. Um, and that did happen in history. But this particular story is, is one that's based on characters that have been invented. Inspired, I like that mm. word. So it's an incredible display, I guess, of, you know, artistic talent, but at the same time, we're probably learning a lot about mm. New Zealand history. And, and why do you think that is important, Mariama? Um, mm. That's why we make theatre, I think, mm. is um, to tell stories so that people go away um, having learnt something, but also wanting to discuss something. Mm -hmm. And I always know when I'm doing a play that's rich because I learn stuff. Wow. And we have arguments, we mm -hmm. have fights, it's hard, it's difficult. Um, we learnt the other day, uh, you know, um, just some of the history about Russell itself, you know, um, the, those first brothels and who mm. they were run by, the real people they were run by. And it makes you, makes you think of that beautiful picturesque little town and sort of take another look a at different that. Right, yes, when I'm up yes. there. And yeah. you're pregnant as well. I oh, am. Yeah. So how, congratulations. Thank you. How are we factoring that into the show? Is it like a green screen, like <laughs> Wonder Woman had when she was filming? It's funny, because in my first um, 
birth, Wonder Woman was my inspiration. I used to, as I was in labour, I would always think of her spinning around wow. and I'd be like, I can do this. <laughs> and now Wonder Woman is back. Nice. It's a sign. Yeah, yeah no, yeah. definitely a sign. Yeah. And uh, what do you want people to take away from the play, Alison? Wow, I want them to um, have a really exciting experience, come away going, wow, I just had a great experience. Nice. But also, you know, it is about where am I from? Who are the people that stand behind me when I stand here? Yeah, so I really want, because that's an, uh, been a big part of our journey, going, who are we standing here in front of? So, so who are all the sister in the way? Yeah. Yeah. Those mm. women that we're... That we're um, playing with. Well, it I sounds empowering, sound yeah. Sounds, sounds absolutely brilliant. fantastic. And funny too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, looking forward to it. Thank you very much, cool. guys. Thank Come you. along. Kororarika, the ballad of Maggie Flynn, opens tonight in Auckland. Before heading north for more details, you can head online to redleaktheatre.co.nz.